Kid is so good. Oh yes, Fight Kid is so damn good. Ah, it feels like heaven. Fight Kid is back. Back at last. What's up guys, this is Hotdive 7 and RCT bringing you another video and today the showcase is, as you could have guessed, Fight Kate. Yeah, I'm moving away from my little heaven thing here. I'm going back to business. Just wanted to start by saying, you know, um, Fight Kate never left. I just, you know, said that in the beginning because I was very much on top of the fight cage scene uh, back in the day before even uh, coming back to the States when I was still living in Puerto Rico with um, Afro Soul over there doing the RCT uh, thing and at that time I had a buddy Aaron Classic Gamer basically uh, us both you know with the community the fight cage community uh, going at it you know at all times because it's, it was always a very uh, active and a very uh, it was a cool place to be just you know because I, I didn't start with the info for those who don't know what fight kate is even though i doubt um fight kate is this awesome application slash emulator slash online centric kind of platform where people can go and play their favorite fighters online now it started that way um, with mostly fighters and maybe one or two shoot 'em ups I remember that the one that I had the most uh, the, the latest one that I used back then was um, I think it had around 300 or so games um, and they added basically you know they had shoot 'em ups they had um, platformers they had fighters but it was mostly fighters um, you could play co-op but to be honest fight K, just like the name implies was basically an arcade scene for fighting game enthusiasts um, it was a, a basically a, a haven for people who wanted to just simply play with other people and not against a computer uh, many of the uh, tournament scene guys uh, competitive players would go to fight Cade just to chill and you know see what's out there what's the competition you know not official not pro or whatever and it was just simply awesome now back then um, as everything that is work in progress it has gone through several iterations I kind of when I headed over to the States and with all the work and all the stuff going on me trying to figure out how to bring back RCT and steadily provide content for you guys I kind of like moved away from it of course it didn't help that I didn't have at the time when I got here an arcade stick to um, you know play the fighters and stuff um, now fortunately I have uh, the one that I've been using the most this is uh, my baby you know with the sandwich sticks and buttons and stuff so I decided you know what the hell this year and the past year has been a great time for fighting game fans why not show off what fight kate is doing at this point and as i tweeted recently they have uh the 23rd of this month they provided a new beta which has uh they, they call it fight kate 2 but basically it's an upgrade and a substantial one as you're gonna be seeing from this showcase today so let's move here into the screen so you can start seeing what the hell am I talking about. Now, granted, and I need to say this ahead of time, what you guys are going to be seeing here is 
mostly I'm going to be showing off the user interface. I'm going to be showing off basically what you see when you download uh, Fightcade, the application. Um, of course, there is the thing about the games. Now, they do not provide the games. Um, you need to, you know, Google is your friend. You need to check around and see how you can obtain the games. Uh, I am not going to leave any kind of link. I will leave the link for the Fightcade application. If you're interested, you can become a, a patron for, for them over there. And, you know, any little thing can help. I know a lot about that. But anyways, going back to the, the Fightcade, this is basically what you're going to be seeing here. Um, this is completely overhauled from what they had before. Before they had a more simplistic kind of a user interface and it has really evolved into something really, really nice. Now down here, I, I even have the old logo that I had way back then. I don't, I had need to upgrade this. And for the time being, this being a beta, and this being the online, I'm going to show you both aspects. I'm going to show you the emulator that runs, that powers this uh, application, which uh, to this day has been Final Burn Alpha. I'm very familiar with Final Burn Alpha because Final Burn Alpha was the place to be years back when you wanted to play um, Neo Geo games, you know, and, and Capcom uh, CPS 1. Uh, and two games, uh, arcade games. So, uh, Final Burn gave way to a whole bunch of other stuff, like you know, um, other emulators, Retro Art, and some other emulator that came out. But Final Burn Alpha has been like years, years, basically in the community, providing tons of fun. And now they're they're powering basically this, which is the Fightcade app. Um, it has gone through a whole bunch of uh, iterations and upgrades and improvements. I know because as soon as I went and I found a plethora of, of options and stuff for me to configure stuff the way that I wanted to. But let's go in here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. See if I can uh, load up here. See? These are... The selections that you're gonna find right off the bat in a beautiful display it displays up to what it says here up to 7400 uh, games that you can actually these are optimized for you to actually play with other people um, at the time being since this is basically a beta the official release is still uh, not here yet you can only add basically to your um, collection only up to two games. That's the limitation. So I set up here one of the two games being Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. And as you can see on the right hand side, these are the people right now looking to play with others. And um, these right here are not available. It's overall is very nice the setup very streamlined very very cool indeed now what I haven't configured for you guys that will come in an, in a later update which will be uh, completely online it will be a complete uh, fight kate gameplay online competing nature kind of thing it's gonna be very very fun uh, for the time being I haven't configured everything of this yet I only did the, the UIs and, and stuff like that because I wanted to show you guys how this thing would look now in order for me to show you how the emulator behind this works I would need to get out of here and set up here what basically is the offline component of this because this way I can show you guys the amount of games and what uh, systems basically it contains within the application so I go here let's load game now as you can see here I am I have within the application I have 
what is being called the perfect set, perfect game set, which contains, as you can see here, 10,473 games. This is amazing because it basically competes with um, front ends and, and applications like RetroArch and Hyperspin and stuff like that in the sense that it contains a ton of games. And the most amazing thing of this, as you can see here, is the amount of systems and companies that they have here. Now, what is new for me from the last time that I, that I checked this out? Well, basically, they added before what they used to have was Capcom games, you know, Cave games, of course, CPS 1, 2, 3. Uh, 3 being the Street Fighter 3, Third Strike, and CPS 1 being like the first arcade games, Commando, stuff like that. Um, they have, or they had, for the longest time, stuff like Konami, Neo Geo has always been a staple of Final Burn Alpha, Pac-Man, PGM, um, but I see here Psycho, Sega, Tato, uh, Techno, Tour Plan. Tour Plan has always been part of this as well. Awesome shoot, awesome uh, companies for shoot 'em ups. I've talked about them extensively before. But they added consoles. They added system, uh, Master System, Game Gear, Mega Drive, PC Engine. Um, ColecoVision and M MSX. I mean, they added a ton, a ton of systems. Now, I have to go and configure because, see, this is the thing with these uh, programs is that the first few hours or maybe days is going to be configuring stuff to your liking. Now, I haven't done everything yet because, as I mentioned, this set, the one that I have currently using, again, if you want the games this perfect game set Google is your friend you'll be able to check out and 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 see how to obtain it but 10,473 games which need to be configured with your own control scheme something that makes you feel comfortable I am going to be showing at least one or two games here so you can guys can see how well it runs and for that I'm gonna do so I'm gonna eliminate from the list and just leave basically fighters and shoot 'em ups. And in the next next time around, I'll 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 be doing several videos on this because this is so extensive that I'll probably need one to show off the new systems that they added, one for online gameplay, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna take from here all the stuff that I'm not gonna cover right now. And just leave. All right, let's leave these. That way, it's easier to manage. Of course, the um, the list that I have in this area right here. Now, since I left the cave games, you're gonna be seeing a few of those pop up here. Like air got it. Batsugan. Donampachi 2. Let's boot up Donampachi 2 and see how this works out. Now I might need. No, actually, it saved my pre -con uh, configured stuff so that's cool that is awesome now let's see all right for a minute I kind of lost lost the camera there for a second okay Yep, save my settings.
Now, the awesome thing about the games running on 5K is that there's very little configuration that you need to do to the game itself. <clears throat> Unlike MAME and some other programs, which you have to be like on top of it. This does have, however, a lot of, uh, a ton of little stuff that you can do to the game. Like filters and stuff like that, which I'm not going to go through here. I'm, I'm mostly going to be showing off some of the games and how well they run. One really big improvement was um, basically they upgraded the resolution, actually, and it's now much better to deal with when if you have like a 4K TV or a 1080p uh, TV. It gives you higher resolutions to mess around with. So now you're not confined to playing in a smallish window or anything like that. Right now, I believe that I am playing most of the games in a something relative to 1440p resolution. So that's why you see everything here pretty much clear. And I am able to play in a very nice, fully bodied window. Unlike before, where when I had to do these videos for you guys, I would have to play in this very small, small window. Even though you would see the full thing, but I would have to play in this very small window. So for people who love their 4K setups or their HD setups, Fight Kate really does it, did it right upgrading the resolutions and stuff and yeah, everything works like a charm. In terms of configuring the controls, it's also really cool. Let's say you want to uh, change the buttons or you have another controller you want to use instead of using an RK stick, which for shoot 'em ups I wouldn't even fathom using anything else than an RK stick, but let's say you want to do that, you just go into input and you can map anything and everything the way you want to. I have this mapped out and I saved the preset before for these type of games so I don't have to change nothing from here and you can do the same thing for uh, player 2 as well so going in here back into the game select screen Let's try a fighter this time around. Remember, all you're going to be seeing here is what I selected here on the right, which is K Shooters, CPS3, that's Capcom, Neo Geo, PGM, Psycho. Ooh, the Psycho games. All right, let's get a Psycho game because I'm going to be covering. The newest uh, Psycho game for the Switch. Stay tuned for that. Let's see how it handles the Metal Slug. Let's do... Actually, let's do Metal Slug 5. Now, it should... Should have saved my pre-configured no I guess not all right let's go and look here for any saved actually no yeah player one preset use preset and yep there it is Neo Geo games I love to use with uh, the four buttons 
lined up kind of like the Neo Geo controller. For the Capcom games, I like to use the six button layout, but for Neo Geo games, the perfect setup is using the top four buttons to get that Neo Geo feeling going on. So I got a button for credits. Let's start it up. Hell yeah. Now once I get the configurations down, I'm gonna be this is gonna be my main for all the arcade stuff, especially now knowing that I can actually play online with other people, co-op, and also competitively. Like these games like Metal Slug and stuff, two players can can you know play together at the same time, so it's awesome. And I'm getting my ass handed to me once again. Okay. First jump and the grenade. Okay, that's what I was missing. This will caught me off guard. Check. Our next game here. Ah ha ha! One that I've been begging for Hamster to make for the Switch. Oh my god. Samurai Showdown 5 Special. Lord, please. Hurry up. I bought mostly games. Now please give me my Samurai Showdown 5 Special. And guys, like I said, once you get your configurations down, this is beautiful. It's just beautiful. I'm playing basically almost, almost full screen. As you can see, the difficulty is just like the arcade at level 4. See ya. I'm glad I got you first.
split right in the middle. Look at that beautiful blood. See? See? Uncensored. Yes, I can't wait for this to get to the switch. Alright, one more fight so I can go to the next game because you know how I am with this game. I'm going to be staying here. Just nerding out with Samurai. Uh-oh. Not good. Perfectly timed. Look at that. Ah, ha, ha. He chopped me to bits. But don't worry. I'll get my vengeance soon enough. Okay, scrolling down here. One of the Capcom ones. Let's do Third Strike. Again, guys, I'm doing basically the fighting games, a little bit of shoot 'em ups. Just to show you guys how well this runs. Now, of course, if you want to change things like like scan lines and stuff like that, you can also do that. Even though I don't have it here. To show on screen but I'll cover that in another video any questions that you have on the on how to set up and stuff like that you can drop a drop a comment below and I'll try to get in contact with you guys as soon as possible Ken is not taking any shit from anybody. So that was that. One more game, guys. One more before I go. See if we can find something here. Oh, the, the psycho. I said I was going to do something psycho here. Hold on. Number two. I'm assuming. Yep. I got the, the preset that I was using earlier. 
Now this is the one that I'm waiting for on the switch. Already got the the first one. Let's do a la carte. So even though, you know, basically since I'm going to be wrapping this up, I can say with all confidence that even though Fight Cage started out as something uh, fighting game genre specific, it turned into something much, much more. And right now at this point, there's something for everybody, I guess. I mean, it's not limited to just two genres, but what it has there for those two genres specifically shoot 'em ups and, and fighting games it's amazing you just can't go wrong and of course given how well done this thing is you can count on me covering some of the arcade greats uh, going forward using Fightcade, this Fightcade, will probably replace in some way or fashion uh, my actual hyperspin setup that I've been using for so long. That's how good and how well this thing runs. It uses very little resources. It's just overall amazing. So I really, at this point, I really can't say anything uh, much more that I haven't really said about the, the, the application or the, the, the game or the emulator. I don't know how to call it, to be honest. It's just a platform. This platform um, for gaming enthusiasts, arcade um, fans, fighting game fans, it's just amazing. Shoot 'em up fans. And now with the added consoles that they, that they put in there, it shows that the community has grown to the point where it's matured. They're putting some features that are really wanted for the longest time. And next time you're going to be seeing um, the online aspect of it, how it goes, the dynamic, how you can challenge other people, which is all there on the screen. You know, you can actually text them and, you know, and, and start the banter. And it's really, really fun. Now, Aaron, Classic Gamer, and I, we... We used to um, play back in the day. Hopefully now, after he sees this video, he'll probably uh, get it. Um, yeah, of course, it's free, the application. The games, on the other hand, are uh, not impossible to get. But uh, there's a gray area that I wish not to speak about. Um, but you guys know what I'm saying. It's right now from 300 and something games. It went all the way up. It blew up to 10,000 games. So... I mean, if you don't find something there that you like, you're not alive. So, that being said, thanks a lot for viewing this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, much, much more when it comes to Fight Kate coming up in the next video. Maybe a few others because there's a lot to cover there. There's a lot of games, amazing games to cover there. So, that's all, guys. Take care. Please like and subscribe. If you don't like or you don't want to sub, at least share the video. It will really help me out. Because, you know, in the end, sorry, not everyone can be me. So, yeah, that's true. See you guys later. Take care. Peace.